Hello everyone, today I'll be showing you guys how to download Eclipse on your Windows 10. You can download Eclipse on both your Mac OS and Windows 10. So if you're a Mac user, you can download it on your Mac OS. Uh, I'll be showing in this video how to download it on Windows, but on my next video, I'll be showing it, you guys how to download it on your Mac. First of all, to download Eclipse, you need to download two more things. Uh, that is MingW and another one is Java SC. I will show you how to download Ming. So to download Ming, you'll have to go to sourceforge.net. I'll provide the link on the description. Project slash Ming, MingW slash enter. So on the Sourceforge page, you're gonna see Ming W Minimalist GNU for Windows. So when you come on this page, you click on this download. I'll save it to my desktop. Click on desktop and click save. So when it's done downloading, I'm gonna open it. When I opened it, it's asking me to install. Click on install. Continue. Then it's gonna ask you to continue, click on continue. When you come on this page, you'll have to click on this and mark as installation. Then go here and mark this as installation. When you mark it as installation, then you click on installation, apply changes. Click on apply. By the time it downloads the package, I'll show you guys how to download Java. So you have to search up Java SE, enter. When you do that, you'll have to go to Java SE downloads is www.oracle.com. I'll provide the link on the description. Click on this, click on JDK download. When you come here, this is, we're downloading it for our windows. So I will install the which says extension and Windows 64 installer. I reviewed. Download. Download it to my desktop. Save. I'll open my Java because it's already done downloading it. I'm gonna say here uh, preparing to install. When this pops up, you'll have to click on next. Next. Then this is gonna start extracting and installing Java. After you download Ming W, the packages, you, when this pops up, you can click on this close automatically when activity is complete. So if you choose that, it's gonna automatically close when the activity is completed. So you don't have to worry about that. After the Ming W is installed, you can just close it and start downloading java after installing java i will show you guys how to install eclipse here we can see the java started extracting after it successfully installs if you can close java and i can see here it already installed ming Ming W, the three of the options are selected, that means those are installed. After you download Ming W64 and Java SC, you'll have to download Eclipse. Search for Eclipse Download. Click on this, go to download. When you click on download, it's gonna bring you here and you'll see get eclipse 2020 12 click on uh, download x86 uh, underscore 64 then you click on this download click download again after i hit download it's gonna show me if i want to save it to my desktop or documents i'll save it to my desktop save installing here i can click open so uh, when I come to my desktop, I can see that Eclipse is already downloaded. I'll double click on it. You're going to see Eclipse is opening. 
So after this open, I'll click on Eclipse IDE for embedded C or C++ developers. Then you have to click on install. By the time it downloads, I'll show you guys something. You'll have to go to files, click on this PC. After you click on this PC, you'll have to go to Windows C. After you go there, you're gonna see a folder naming W. Click on it. When you click on it, you're gonna see another folder bin. Click on the bin folder. Come here and click on this. Copy the link. After copying the link, you'll go to the start button, click on start, search for edit environment. After you search for it, you're going to see this and you have to open it. You have to open edit environment variables for your account. After you open that, you're going to see path here, click on path. And if you don't see main W here, you click on new and paste the link here. Select main W slash bin. Okay. Okay. So after it's done installing, you can you have to click on launch. Click launch again. You can see I opened the hello world. Let me show you guys how to create a new file. If this hello hello world opens up, go to edit, you select all and delete. Then I'll click on new, click on C or C. I'll click on C manage build and click on next. After you click on next, I'll try to open hello world C. You're gonna see you get Ming ming w g c c if you see that in here you'll understand you successfully install ming w if you don't see it you made some error or some mistake go back and see my video how i installed it you can prop after you properly install click on ming w selected then put a name for your for your uh, project then i'll click next then you have to put an author click finish author on the place of author you could put your your name after you do that you can see the name and author in here and i'll remove those and write my code here after i do that i'll click on project build project when you click on build project, you're going to see things like that popping up in here. After it's done uh, building, you have to click on this and run as. Click on the second one, local C, C++ applications. After you do that, you're going to see in here my codes are popping up. That means I successfully installed Eclipse and my codes are working. That's it. On my next video, I'll be doing C++ using Eclipse. Thanks for watching. If you guys like this video, please give a thumbs up. And if this is your first time watching, please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.